Welcome back to Link Saves the Girl, level 4, going on now. Uh, another trip with the music. Nice. Bomb of a wall right here telling us where level 5 is. Looks like we're gonna need the raft. So we must be getting it in this dungeon. Because they couldn't have kept it any more hidden from us. Clock. Nice. Unlucky to not get one in the last dungeon. So we have level 2 ropes in there. It's just a weird name for a snake. Alright, we have some ropes here. Alright, hand it to me. Not that kind of rope, it's a snake! But why the hell are they called ropes? It's kind of weird if you think about it, really. Let's go north. Oh boy, level 2 Stalfos. Hey, wait a minute, those were bats. They just turn into virus all of a sudden? Another unique enemy in this, uh... in this quest. Uh... what do they call it? Vire Trebles. Stay in bat form too long, they, uh... Well, they revert back to their original form. Oh boy. Uh, Dark Nuts. Of course, we all know the Zelda classic trick. You can look to the side and hurt them. Surprising. And there's a secret right here. Huzzah! Something in it. Filled with Stalfos this time. I usually have one type of enemy guarding, uh... Guarding the, uh... Dungeon treasure rooms. And in here is the dungeon, one of the dungeon treasures. One that's required to even get through this one, the ladder. When I said I would be doing these kind of quests, I said I would be doing trilogies. There's actually a whole bunch of them I want to do. Well, some of them that are trilogies. Link Saves the Girls, one of them, uh... is a day series, I believe, just simply called Link's first day and whatnot, and all that. Second day, third day, and that's a series, so I might do that. There's one quest out there that's pretty much the... the gung-ho of Zelda Classic quests. The infamous Ballad of a Bloodlines. I said I would be doing a trilogy, and that is a trilogy. There are three... Wow, well, I hear the creator's making four right now, and I'm like, oh, great. I said I would do a trilogy, and that one falls under the category of a trilogy, so I know it's going to be expected. The thing is, though, that quest... Long. How long? I'd say it's about 3D Zelda long. Yeah, that is long. No, that's what she said, jokes, please. I probably just already set it up for y'all, but I will remove them if I see them. Yeah, because I'm getting tired of those jokes. Uh... <laughs> boss key in here. Yeah, the that series, there's three games. Well, first one's simply called Ballad of a Bloodline. I have played the game, but I, because it's so long, I, I I always take a break when I play uh, a games that I want to take a break from, and most of the time I just forget about it. I have not touched Ballad of a Bloodline in a long time, so it looks like I'm going to have to... Uh, Sink into the game again. Of course, in my defense, as I usually like to watch playthroughs of some quests, just to see if I'm what I'm getting myself into. I can't really say if there is a decent walkthrough of it. Now, what I mean by decent, I mean what I do. Don't skip anything. Don't say, "Okay, I'm gonna go grab this key and I'll be right back." No, no, no. Show it. There's nothing like that on there. Some people might have had video problems or whatnot. There's no decent playthrough of it. The next one, I believe, is called Season Blood. That game is just utter confusion. As it pretty much acts like uh, Oracle of Seasons with the uh, season changing much more complex than Seasons itself, in my defense. 
And then there's another one called Cousins of Powers. I have never even played it. The last two, Season Blood and Cousins of Powers, I've never even touched. Touched meaning never played the game, so I would have to really dig into those. And since I'm doing so many projects, I don't even know if I will. I might just get hounded on. Should you do a trilogy? You This is a trilogy. You need to do it. You're not in control of my channel. Oh, yeah. I have the keys to this ignition. It's kind of a bizarre way to compare my channel to a car, but... Yeah, I'm in charge of it. I decide what I want to play. Get used to it. Anyway, enough complaining about other quests. This is a happy quest. Juicy piece of meat. There you go. Here's your food. The secret in here, if I remember, is to rupees, but since we're full, can't grab it. we push this one. Oh, I'm wrong. I'll show you that one. Okay. Okay, normally people play this with a keyboard. The game, I believe, is made to be played like one. But I'm using a controller because, well, if you play consoles more than PC games like I do, you have to organize some way to put it in a controller, and it's the same one I've been using for all my, uh, well, classic games, really. Oh, that's just money, dang it. Yeah, so I just organized to use a keypad, to use a, a gamepad rather than just the ordinary keyboard. Of course, this uh, gamepad isn't very reliable. Oh, hi, Goma. And they just happenly put in a ferry in here in case you need it. Of course, Goma's guarding it. But he's, she's easy to take out. Let's remember, Goma is a girl. Darn. Bitchy spider. <laughs> that was kind of wrong. <laughs> Be kind to women. Wham! That's another reason why I like this song. It's called Link Saves the Girl. And with this song, to me, it feels like you are. You're definitely going out there to save the girl. Happy songs and saving... Zelda. I'd save any girl, really. If they were kind to me. RESPECT ME! <laughs> I respect the women. Be sure to do the same, guys. Otherwise, you'll end up like me. Ah, oh, no, that's not a very good example. I can joke about myself. So it's fine for me to do that. <laughs> Anyway, enough with the awkward speeches I'm giving. Let's uh, find the secret. It's up north. Found the compass before. Let's see. Did you drop this? More magic. Finally, we're finding more magic upgrades. I think these only appear in later dungeons now. Let's go through here. Something tells me I might be going the wrong way. I do have the boss key and all. I just get some sort of feeling I'm not going the right way. Oh good, a clock. Key. Up north? Yep. Yeah, I just trapped myself in. That's all it does. <laughs> anyway, here's a dungeon treasure room. I don't remember now. I'm starting to not remember what's in these dungeons. I can remember for some, but most of the time I can't. Alright. Which one's pushable? I don't think the Lens of Truth will show either. Oh, we can actually push it out. Okay. And here is the raft. Which we kind of need to get to level 5. I think 
think something else is in here too. I'm not quite sure. I think I'm missing something. I just feel like I am. If I am, then uh, we'll check it out. I think this is the boss door. Yeah, it's the boss door. We didn't get the map. Hey, there's Goma down and some sort of secret down there, and that means it's walk throughable. So let's see what we got in here. I don't need any potions. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste picking it up. So yeah. Ooh, another dungeon treasure room. Well, let's just see what I can get. There's probably plenty of stuff we can get right after the dungeon. Now we push it this way. Ah, there's a good dungeon treasure. A bigger wallet. Nice. And all around the dungeon there was all these rupees and all that. Maybe I'll come back and come get some, because I think there's some good prizes we can get. Another Gleok. How the hell do we have to fight another one? Another heart piece, heart piece, heart container. And level four is done. But we're gonna come back and pick up some rupees because there's like plenty of them, and get the map. Why not? Because we didn't go that one way to get it, so we're gonna go out and get it. So let's head back into level four and head down the uh, other path we didn't go. Or maybe there's some things I didn't get. Where else didn't I not go? I know what the map looks like. It looks like that. <laughs> I just want to be sure. Was it in here? Because I thought the uh, I thought that purple rupee room. Did I go in that one? Did I kill everyone in here? Dark on dark nuts. Blue ones for that matter. They do a whole heart of damage to me with the blue ring. Two if I didn't have it. And yeah, now you can see our money counter. Much higher. Here's the map. And yep, pretty much looks just like that. Let's go around collecting those uh, two rupees I missed. One of them in the secret room and that purple one that we didn't pick up. And then I hope I can find more heart pieces and we can have the magic, the magic, uh, magic sword. Yeah, it's called magical sword, but I still just call it magic sword. A little shorter. Ah, oh, these gorillas that get stuck. I have to waste money on them. Fire now! It'll be one ruby. Well, how about I just take this? go through spikes. Luckily these aren't the spikes that do four arts regardless. Even if you were wearing the most powerful ring. Which is the red ring! Oh wait, this is Zelda Classic. There's a gold ring in this! Yeah. Take eighth of a damage rather than opposed to the fourth of a damage that the red ring provides. Unfortunately the uh, gold ring can only be found in the last dungeon. Final dungeon that is. Level nine if you want to put it like that. Except it isn't called level 9 here. It's pretty much just called Ganon's Palace. I'm debating. Maybe I shouldn't grab that purple rupee. No, let's not grab it. It'd be a waste of 42 rupees since it gives you 8. Well, since it'll only give me 8, now the new maximum is 500. When we find the uh, last wallet upgrade, that'll take us up to the maximum of 999. <laughs> Excuse me there. 
Alright, let's just get out of the dungeon. We got everything here we need. Hey. Right. I think there's plenty of things we can buy. I can't buy the red ring just yet because I need 600 rupees to buy that. And I can't get that until after we get the wallet upgrade. Which I don't even think we get the wallet upgrade until after level 8. Because it's somewhere in the islands. And the raft ain't gonna take us there. So we would need the ever popular flippers to get them. So let's see if I can find a couple heart pieces. I know there's one down there that we I can go grab. And then we'll go get the uh, level 3 sword. Maybe I should just stick to calling it that. Rather than just magic sword. This seems appropriate to me to call it the magic sword, because that's what it's intended name is. Okay, there's one right there. How many do I need? That dungeon didn't give us a piece of heart. Oh, I can get it. I just probably need to take the south entrance to the uh, forest. So let's go get him! I'm almost full of money and I'm getting hit with fucking rocks! Stop it! I don't know, what could I buy? I could buy the level 2 bow. Like I said, it only makes the arrows shoot faster, like they go faster across the screen could get a level 2 power bracelet, as there is one like that in this game. Well, in Zelda Classic in general. Uh, essentially the power glove. Although I think it's just a regular power bracelet. You do get it for free later on. To get the uh, better wallet. So maybe I'll just wait. Also sells the bow and the red ring one shot. There we go, we got our heart pieces. Now we can go get the magic sword. Level 3 sword. <laughs> I keep calling it magic. I'm just gonna stick to calling it magic sword. Because right now, once we get it, we'll have beams. Yeah, the magic sword and the uh, level 4 sword, aka master sword, they shoot beams. So let's go get it. And go get that new bow. go all the way to the other side to get it. Here's where we have to use the raft. Right here. To get to level 5. Full of money. Don't need to worry. Sing in right now. <laughs> Catchy song, I had to come up with some words. You doubt I can use it? I have ten hearts. That's the max. That's the minimum requirement. There we go. And now we have beams! Unfortunately, though, the beams are a bit weaker than the sword itself. Think of the beams as the white sword. They're one level less than what you are holding. Same applies to the Master Sword, you'll be shooting Magic Sword beams out of there. Magic Sword powered, I should say. But this is handy nonetheless. Now we're gonna go and get the, uh... The, uh, level 2 bow. That piece of heart we can't grab unless we have... Another item. Which I don't have. So, we're just going to go and get the level 2 bow. Not required, but I want it. Alright, do the tunnel. I just don't like going through here as there's nothing in here. There's no music. Computer, please don't do that. 
Like I said, it goes black. He's not doing anything! I'm playing Zelda Classic. Damn computer. And there's the level 2 bow. The other item in here is the fire boomerang, but you saw it's 550. I can't quite reach that much. I'll be fine with money. Alright, let's get out of this tunnel and head to level 5. Alright. The Lens of Truth would have also revealed which of these Armo statues was holding the, uh, rupee. Luckily, I think I picked them up from before. Ah, this one has a red one underneath them. Oh, well, we take it. I don't think any other Armos have anything. Ow. Never walk into them from underneath. That's a trap. Dude will steal money from you. So let's just head to level 5. No delay. The beam is still better than just your arrows. Basically because you don't have to uh, waste a rupee for it. Hey! Frickin' Zora! Eh, fine, I'll go all the way around. You don't want me swimming yet! That's just fine. We're pretty much gonna be using this tunic the entire... the rest of the dungeons. All eight dungeons will have this tunic. Unfortunately... Due to, um, I don't know why exactly. For some reason, with the Lens of Truth, you can see the projected path for the raft. But I'm not seeing it right now. Oh boy. I almost thought I got stuck there. Okay, I probably didn't need to turn there. That's That way leads to level 6. I need to go to level 5 first. Because I need what is in level 6. What I need is in level 5. Why can I not speak? <laughs> Don't know why I couldn't speak for a moment. Anyway. Turn here at the rocks. And here's level 5. No good music here, it's just a different version of... The ever popular original dungeon music. Just fine. I prefer the original though. Anyway, next time we will go through level 5. Link saves the girl to be continued.